Jan is about to have a baby with a sperm donor. And Michael is preparing for the birth of a watermelon with Dwight. Now, this baby will be related to Michael through delusion. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Contractions are coming every 10 minutes. OK, just remember to keep breathing. My cervix is ripening. OK, good. Can you tell who's gay and who's not? Of course. What about Oscar? <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, he is. Wait, who's Sarah Kaya Combs in? No, Sarah Kaya comes in. Don't interrupt. I have like 30 seconds to finish this and get to Digicrate. OK, OK. So Sarah Kaya says to Eric, no way. You can't reserve seats. And then Stacy gets all up in her face, and Sarah Kaya picks up Stacy's knee tan pad and throws it at the light box. No way. Yes. Uh, that's hilarious. No, it was horrible. Jim, she might get arrested. Who, Stacy? No, Stacy is a boy. Ugh. Frustrating. Why can't you just be in art class with me? Uh, oh, wait, I gotta go. Class starting. Okay, I'll, t I'll talk to you later. It was a good story. Who's Sarah Kaya comes in? Jim told me you could buy Gaydar online. That's ridiculous. Yeah, probably. He didn't tell the truth a lot. Let's call him, get the website. Definitely. What's this? Looks like a red wire. Oh. What's well, a computer, do I? I mean, computers have wires. Yours doesn't. Doesn't it? It's going in a different direction than the other wires. Dwight, I'm really busy. I can't talk about this anymore. Dwight! Just get out of Shut here! Up. Hey, let's... I got 500 feet of red wire at a flea market up by Dunmore High School. Twenty bucks for the whole spool. Crazy. What a deal. Oh, he'll be fine. I made it up there. Okay. Oh, what is this? A a meatball? Really? <laughs> it's always more fun to mess with Dwight with an audience. That was usually Pam. So now that she's out, I had to find someone else. Turns out that Stanley is quite the comedy fan. But not everything makes him laugh. He has very specific tastes. Through a painstaking process of trial and error, I found out what he likes. And it's really weird. Whoa, okay. Oh, hello, Jan. Hello, Michael. Wow, Kevin, really? We're... <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, we're in the middle of a party. Is this why you called me down here? Yeah, Michael, I just, uh, I, I think you kids have a lot to catch up on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Um. Oh. Oh. Yes. Damn it, Jim, you cannot throw snowballs in here. Well, it's not a snowball, because it's only a dusting, right? You apologize right now. No. Very well. Then I challenge you to a snowball fight on the first real snow of winter. You got it. Jim, come on. So juvenile. What the? You've been meatballed. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for some meatball? Oh, man. <laughs> this is not very clever, Jim. I know. <laughs> Look for your stapler. <laughs> Really, Jim? Really? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> okay, good day. What's a hole? 32 meatballs. Good day. <laughs> that idiot's been feeding us for a week. We'll never have to buy meatballs again. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am so deliriously happy. Why? Because you're pregnant and because it obviously happened when we were together. And I am very Yeah, it did proud. happen when um, we were together, that's true. And, um, but you are not, uh, you're not the guy. You cheated on me? 
when I specifically asked you no. not to? I went to a sperm bank. When we were going out? Oh, yeah. I don't understand. You always used to be very cautious. Wear two condoms. No. Michael! Yeah? My water's breaking! Oh, okay, okay. Ah, right. What do you do? What do you do? I get what a call from Jan do? and I meet her at the hospital. Right. Highways or surface roads? I take Quincy Ave to Gibson. No, Gibson is covered in potholes. Your car breaks down. Adapt. I checked the route. There are no potholes. It's Come about on. Get adapting to the circumstances. Andy, would you like to have my baby? Yes. Yeah. No. Ah, okay, no. I'm crowning. Ah, All right. I'm crowning. Ah, ah, I'm crowning. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Do it. Pressure. Scream. Scream oh. it out. Scream it out. Scream it out. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Damn. Okay. Ah. Hold on. Hold on. Judges in session. What is the problem here? You put my stuff in jello again. <laughs> That's my staple. No, 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 no. Do not take it out. You have to eat it out of there because there are starving people in the world, and which I hate, and it is a waste of that kind of Okay, food. you know what? You can be a witness. Can you reprimand him, please? How do you know it was me? It's always you. Are you going to discipline him or not? Ooh, discipline. Kinky. <laughs> Just keep pushing. Hold me! I'm right here. Cradle I'm my right head! Here. I'm right here. I'm screaming, I'm screaming, right. I'm screaming! Right. Ah! Just push and breathe. Numb me up. Right. I want anesthesia. Shh. No, you can't have it. It's too late. No, I don't want no, natural. No, you have to just push it out. OK! Keep simulating. Ah! OK! Do you have the Sharpie? Keep simulating. Do you have the Sharpie? Yes, I do. OK! When the baby emerges, mark it secretly in a kind of a mark that only you could recognize and no baby snatcher could ever copy. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Ah! Oh, here we go. Oh, God, wow. What was on that? Butter. Newborns are slippery. Nice touch. Good. Let's try that again. This is going to be the happiest day of my life. What's Gadar? Oh, oh, Gadar, yes. No, uh, I think they have it at Sharper Image. Oh, you know what? I can check for you. No problem. It's sold out. Yeah, sorry about that. That's a bummer. Well, they're sold out. Damn. Hope this helps, Jim. Last week, I was in a drugstore and I saw these glasses, uh, $4. And it only cost me $7 to recreate the rest of the ensemble, and that's a grand total of $11. Question, what kind of bear is best? It's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Oh. Bears. Beets. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not... What is going on? What are you doing? You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! No feeling in my fingers or penis, but I think it was worth it. Oh. Ah! Um, I was laying on the ground, defenseless, and uh, he just kept throwing him until he exhausted himself. And uh, then, how about icing it? LOL, Dwight. What are you doing? Shh. Don't be scared. works. <laughs> oh no. Jan. Hi Jim. What do we have here? Oh, this is my baby. Really? <laughs> Oh, no. 
So this is Astrid. Astrid. Oh, okay. Why didn't you call me? Well, um, I, you know, would... labor just kind of started very suddenly, and it was the birth instructor thought it wasn't oh, a good man. idea for him to be there. So that guy, I just he had no sense of humor, and I proved him wrong in so many Michael, ways. You don't have any idea what I've been through. No, I don't. So I just... <laughs> don't stop, Dwight. Dwight, stop. Oh, 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 Dwight, stop. No! Oh no! Yes! Take my rat! Okay, okay. Huh? You like okay. that? Seriously! Okay, huh? okay. Uh. <laughs> you guys, this has to stop. Someone could have really gotten hurt. What if Meredith was taking her smoking break below that window? You know what would have happened? The shards of glass would have shaved her face right off. And yes, it might have been funny, but it also would have been incredibly tragic. I could not agree more, and I just want to state for the record that I am intending to sue Jim for acute psychological distress. What are you talking about? What you did was dangerous and inappropriate. Mm, mm, I'm mm -hmm. really surprised at you guys. Last time I was here, you were both best friends. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to present for the first time in her life and in the office, Astrid Trid Levinson. Hi, Astrid, this is everybody, look. This is your family. You're gonna know them for the rest of your life. Well, well, he may not be here. Say hello. Okay, here we go. Lion King. Oh, Michael, 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 okay. Michael, that's, yeah. Morning, Dwight. Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? I'm Jim. We've been working together for 12 years. <laughs> Weird joke, Dwight. You're not Jim. Jim's not Asian. You seriously never noticed? Hey. Hats off to you for not seeing race. I go, the baby's already been born. Yeah, duh. So we had games planned, but the baby ruins all of them. No, the baby doesn't ruin anything, Kevin, okay? The baby multiplies the fun. Let's just do what you were going to do. Okay. Who wants to guess when the baby will be born? Tomorrow. You don't work here. You're not Jim. Jim. I got us that dinner reservation. Greek goes 7.30. Oh, great, can't wait. Mm. Jim's at the dentist this morning, and Steve is an actor friend of ours. I don't know who you are, but you are not Jim. This is Jim! Hmm. Oh, oh, dude, uh, how did... You'd rather have somebody else's no. sperm than my sperm? No, no, no. It's not the, just any sperm bank. I mean, it's really, this is a really, really great, place. It's amazing, actually. I'm going to bring you the catalog. You should look through it. It's, and it's fact, it's right next to that little breakfast place that you like in the city where you can draw on the tables. I hop. I hop. Hey, Jan, you went to a sperm bank? Uh, yes, I did. I donated sperm. Oh. Huh. Ooh. Maybe I'm the father. Well, this is a, a highly exclusive establishment. So. Next to the I hop? Well, I paid for an ideal specimen. Are you saying Kevin is not an ideal specimen? This is a wonderful shower, everyone. Thank you. I might have done it with Jan. <laughs> it's not Kevin's child. Can't possibly be. I mean, I, I don't know what I would do. Sue? Decide? 